quick one. First Corinthians 15, the whole chapter talks about resurrection. It's good to read. I don't have time to read it all to you. But verse 14 is very important. And it says, If Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain, and your faith is also vain. If Christ is not risen, then our testifying, our preaching, is vain, and our faith is vain. I'm telling you, the resurrection is power. We saw it, the examples of it. Romans 6. Romans chapter 6. Verse 9. Knowing that Christ being raised from the dead dieth no more. Now look at this. Death hath no more dominion over him. Now what Jesus did on the cross, he did for you and I. Amen. Thank you, Lord. No more death. Didn't he say that whoever believes in me will not die? Right? Do you believe that? Amen. That means that whenever your body lays down and your spirit graduates, it's an immediate process. Because of this, it's immediate. You're in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Why? Because you have gone from death to life. <coughs> death has no more dominion over you. And look in chapter 6 and verse 5. For if we've been planted together in Romans 6, 5, if we've been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Now, in that resurrection, remember, everything leading to death was done away with as well as the death. Do you hear what I'm saying? I'm saying you're whole this morning. Thank you, Lord. I'm saying those things in your body that have worked death in the past are being exposed as what they are. And you don't have to have them anymore. Thank you, Jesus. You're delivered by the resurrection. Hallelujah. You're free. I, I, I pronounce you free this morning. I give you the key to freedom this morning. You're whole in Him. You don't have to be sick again. Never again. You don't have to worry about the flu coming around this year. Hallelujah. You don't have to worry about uh, Alzheimer's or any of those diseases. Glory to God, you're free. Why? Because of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. The verse before 5, four, four. verse 4, chapter 6, four, verse 4. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Why? Because He did it for us. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He didn't have to come do that. Except for you and I. Thank you, Lord. And so that which He did, He did for us. Dominion over death. Look in Colossians. You still with me? Yes, amen. Colossians chapter 2. Verse 10. And you are complete in Him. Say, I'm complete in Him. Glory to God. That means every need is met. Every need is supplied. Is that right? If you're complete in Him. That means you're seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That means... You've been blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenlies in Christ Jesus. You're complete. Say, I'm complete. I'm complete in Him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 10, you are complete in Him, which is the head of all 
sickness and disease. Amen. Poverty, lack, and want. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm Thank putting you. that in there, but it says of all principality and power. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. I'm just naming names of them. You're complete in Him. And He's the head of all principality and power. Mm -hmm. Verse 11. In whom also you're circumcised with a circumcision made without hand. In putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. Buried with Him in baptism. Wherein also you are risen with Him. Do you see that? You are risen with Him. Glory. Through the faith of the operation of of God who hath raised him from the dead. Hallelujah. You see it? Thank you, Jesus. You're risen with him. Now if you're risen with him, these things that used to try to torment you and cause you problems, working in your body, have no more right. They have no dominion. Hallelujah. You're free. You don't have to die with sickness and disease. It's an amazing thing that some people want to mm -hmm. argue with me about that. Mm -hmm. They get offended when I say that. Well, how are you going to die then? That's what they ask. Mm -hmm. How are you going to die? Mm -hmm. Well, you don't have to die of sickness and disease. You just come to a ripe old age and graduate on. God take your breath away. Give up the ghost. Why does it have to be from Satan taking out? Well, because most people die that way, so it's just accepted as the norm. Now, for us, I'm risen with Him. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The life of God lives in us. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God.